Hey guys, welcome to this new series. In this series, I'm going to break down songs. I'm going to go through their harmony and lyrics. I'm going to show you the chords. I'm going to show you how to play them and I'm going to analyze them from songwriting perspective. Let's look at the classic. Here comes the sun by the Beatles. This is probably the most famous song written by George Harrison. I used to play in the Beatles tribute band and I was George Harrison, so I used to sing this song quite a bit. By the way, I also recorded acoustic cover of this. I'm going to link it to this video. So check that out as well. And let's dive straight into it. So the whole song starts with the intro that basically outlines the melody of the verses. We are uh, in a normal tuning with capo on the seventh fret, starting with the chord D, D major. And it goes like this. So we have the tonic, the D, then the G chord, and then A7 chord. I'm talking the chords with the capo as would we played in the guitar. In reality, this would be A, this would be D, and this would be E chord. So this appears twice, there's some production going on, and then the singing paradoxically starts with the chorus. So we start with the verse melody, but then we go directly into the chorus. Here comes the sun, here comes the sun. The whole song is basically these two parts mainly, the verse and the chorus, and then there's a bridge later on which I'll show you. Harmonically it's quite simple, we have the chords D, G and A, which is the tonic, the root, then the four chord and the dominant chord, the fifth chord. But in the chorus there is one chord extra, so we have D, G and then E7. And as you can notice, this E7 lifts this song sort of like when you have a TV and you turn up the brightness. Whenever you feel this sort of change of feeling in the song, it's reasonable to assume that the chord is probably outside of the key that the rest of the song's in. So here we are in the key of... on this key, which is technically A, but on the guitar with the capo we play it as D. Then this E7 chord as played on guitar is not in that key, it's the secondary dominant. Secondary dominant is a dominant from a dominant chord. So when I said that the A7 is a dominant chord, the secondary dominant would be on the fifth step of the A scale. So if I go from A, one, two, three, four, five, I find the note E, and then if I build a seventh chord on it, in this case E7, I have secondary dominant. And it kind of nicely goes with that theme of here comes the sun. It brightens the song. It kind of, here comes the sun, doo -doo -doo -doo. everything's fine, chilled singing dooby dooby here comes the sun rises even more brightens it up beautiful the whole chorus always ends with this little riff we had it in the intro as well i didn't mention it it goes like this very nice memorable riff notes here are f sharp that's 11th fret on g then 10th fret on b which is the note a and then open e which is which is barred with the capo on the 7th fret, so which is not B. It goes like this. And as the strings ring over each other, it creates this, again, sunshiny vibe, almost nostalgic feeling to it. When the first verse starts, it goes immediately after chorus, but then after second chorus, when the second verse starts, they add a little chord to build up tension a little bit more. It goes like this. It's alright. And then, and then this, and it builds up the tension. This is not there before the first verse. So sometimes in order to make the song more interesting as you go, you want to throw these little changes so you mix it up a little bit, so the listener always hears something fresh. So we have second verse, second chorus. Lyric-wise, obviously, it's a very positive song. Here comes the sun, here comes the sun, and I say it's all right. I don't think there's anything to analyze about this. There's a sense of intimacy in the line, little darling, it's been a long, cold, lonely winter, where you're describing perhaps a period of time where the things weren't going your way. I know you've been down lately, there's been difficulties in your life, you struggled lately. I know like the long, cold, lonely winter feels like it's been here for years. And then in the second verse, they talk about smiles on people's faces, how it feels like years since people smiled, right? But it always gives you this bit of hope, don't worry, it's gonna become better, it's all right. Let's look at the bridge. As I said, basically, most of the song is those two parts, chorus and verse, mixed in different ways. The arrangement around them, the way they recorded it, makes it exciting and interesting. But then we go to the bridge part, which basically goes... Sun, 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 here it comes. 
and then turn around. It repeats, I believe, six times in total, one instrumentally and five times with singing and with different harmonies. And it's basically this build up. The sun is coming up slowly, like each repetition, the sun is a little bit brighter. It's a little bit more up and up and up and up. And everything about the song, the key, the metronome, all these things kind of change. So up till this point, we were basically counting one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But now, like this, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four. Technically, some musicians might say, first I was counting the quarter notes, now I'm counting eight notes, but I feel like this is the easiest way. So you just go one, two, three, this little riff. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and then back to normal counting to the D. And the chords here are F, C, and G. The whole turnaround goes like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two if I speed it up again as I say you want to build this up you want to keep increasing the dynamics and making it more and more bright and warm and sunshiny after this we have another kind of build up we left the normal structure of the song we left the normal cho choruses and verses and in order to go back to the previous key and previous structure George Harrison uses this dominant chord on the guitar played as A7 and he basically builds on it like this A7 A7 sus4 A7 but now then this note is at the top and now the note this note is at the top note D this creates a tension that allows you to transition nicely back to little darling to the verse. Okay, we have the last verse. He sings about uh, how ice is slowly melting. It seems like years since it's been clear. They use different metaphors. It's been a long, cold, lonely winter. Then the people smile and then they're ending with this metaphor of ice melting. Then going back into the chorus, the chorus repeats twice. And then they also repeat the phrase, it's all right, twice to emphasize that point that it's going to be all right and also make it into a bit of a coda. Uh, that's a very typical thing to do, to repeat a phrase at the end, even three times sometimes. Here comes the sun, here comes the sun, and I say it's all right. The riff, one more time, it's all right. Now you think the song is over, but there's another moment of surprise he throws in. He come, goes back to the chords that he used in the bridge before. F, C and G. Let's play it on guitar. And then he ends it. So again, he delays this last moment of resolving the song even more, which again creates a bit more tension, creates a bit more excitement. Cool. Okay. I hope you like this. I hope this was helpful. If you want to download the PDF with the lyrics and chords, I'll put it in the description. Let me guys know if this is useful, how you like this new series. I want to continue to do more of these. The idea is to push myself to learn new songs, record them as covers and then analyze them for all of you and create these little sheets and chord charts in the hope that it's going to be useful for someone. Please subscribe, give this video a like. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Keep it funky. Whew.